Kids and Cadets, welcome back to Tommy Time. Thanks for coming out. What we are looking at it today is a 2017 Husky LC221A as an alpha. It's got the 675 engine on it. Scrapper called me last night, said he had the machine. It looked pretty good. Could he bring it by that it, it runs? So his definition of runs and what I say runs seemed to be different. It would start when I got it off the trailer and then it, it quit out when I was checking out the uh, all-wheel drive. Same thing second time around started it and then it stalled out. So he wanted to know what I would pay. I told him um, 30 he said, how about 45 And by this time, I had looked it over and noticed some discrepancies. So I wasn't willing to pay the 45 I was willing to pay 40 so I got it for 40 bucks. But it's got issues. So that was checking it out in the dark with the flashlight. Now we're going to be able to check it out the next day here in some better lighting so let's see what the issues I found are and try starting this thing it may have a contaminated fuel or a dirty carburetor he said he pressure washed it prior to bringing it to me to clean it up so I don't know if that was an issue if we got a water in the tank somehow but let's start out by looking at the uh, air filter, see what the maintenance level of this Husky is. Okay, paper cartridge isn't too bad, but I see signs of um, cockroaches here. They've eaten some of the paper and I see a bunch of droppings so it would appear this thing sat in a shed somewhere and the um, cockroaches went to town I see a lot of droppings here on the air filter backing plate let's check oil It has oil, it's in between the two circles. It just would be um, time for an oil change. So I stepped up the price due to the fact it's all wheel drive, not that we need it here in Florida. This is flat land. But it did come equipped with a bag, which is always helpful when it comes time to re resell. So let's start at the um, controls here since we're up this high. First thing I noticed was the... Um, controls for the self-propelled are really weak you almost have to have it in the the bar in the up position before it takes all the slack out of the cable there is a kink down here in the plastic where the cable is bent both cables are rusty so when I had initially started I engaged it it didn't seem like one the front or the rear wheels were engaging one set was the other wasn't by that time it had conked out I tried it again to see if I could determine what was failing front or rear what I end up doing is uh, tilting the unit back and engaging the 
front front wheel drive so I can see if that's turning. With the rear wheels on the ground, then I tilt it forward and see if these rear wheels are engaged. So anyway, I think we got an issue with one set of wheels. I really couldn't get it running long enough <clears throat> to determine that. <clears throat> Excuse me, let's turn this thing over. I've I discovered a few issues down here. Um, let's let's do that and we'll discuss the um, self-propelled cable. I'll take you off the tripod. <clears throat> first things first, you kids and cadets with keen eyes can see the blades on backwards. The little dish should face the ground that's facing the engine. And you can see the back side of the blade here is smooth where the grass has been hacked, if not for a better word. This thing was hacking and slashing. The um, leading edge here on the, which is now the back side, has somewhat of an edge. So I'll turn this thing over, uh, clean this rusty edge up and put a nice uh, smooth cutting edge on this thing. So that's the major issue down here. The other issue is with the <coughs> pulleys. One of them works. I've run into this before with these all-wheel drives with the pulleys. This one's solid does not move and this one barely moves or well, it moves about three millimeters and stops so this thing is locked up too <clears throat> so that may be an issue with our self propelled the the belt is just sliding over the plastic and not rotating what will happen over time is you'll get a flat spot here on the plastic where the belt is actually worn a flat spot down. So there may be a flat spot here and then one right here where the blade uh, belt has been going over the pulley. So this is a one belt runs the front wheel drive in the rear wheel drive so back to the cable I wasn't sure about pricing on the cable I looked it up last night you could get one on flea bay for $9.99 Amazon $12.99 I had run into a <clears throat> um, expensive cable I wor worked on a Troy built recently and the cable was $38 uh, plus shipping I only could find it at Troy built it was an oddball drive cable so sometimes you can get stung with a unit they didn't produce a lot or it's an oddball design I think this was a rear wheel drive cable so it was 38 plus shipping, so that's kind of expensive to be dumping over 40 bucks in one part. So sometimes you got to bite the bullet and pay f full price. You make some money, but it's not a home run. So what else? I think those are the major things I found down here, the blade and one 
out of three work on the the pulleys belt doesn't look too bad I don't see a lot of cracking so I think the belt can be reused I just have to remove these two and try to salvage the bearings but these are readily available the the pulleys you can find them on Flea Bay or the Big Jungle Company <clears throat> So let's turn this over and um, see if it's going to stall out on us. At the minimum, we need a, a carb clean. I kind of noticed last night with the flashlight, I saw some crud down there in the bottom of the tank. It's not showing up now due to lighting. But I think uh, we got to get rid of this gas possibly clean the carb. Let's try this automatic choke. It's a pull and go. Start and stall, let's try it again. We don't have crapola, let me uh, motivate it. Nitro. It did better in the dark. It ran for a few seconds last night each time. Now it's not giving us crap. Let me clamp the uh, safety brake cable with the plastic clamp. I want to see if the um, cable's weak. I'll hand move the linkage, help it along. It may be killing the kill switch. I, it didn't seem to move at all. The cable is pulling it tight.
wondering if it was the uh, safety brake cable. It did move like a millimeter. Maybe that was enough to open up the uh, kill switch. Kind of odd. After we had messed with it, got no action, messed with the safety brake cable, and we have action. So as you saw, I had put it on its tippy toes and then the back wheels, so it seems to engage better with the uh, rear wheels off the ground than it did the other way around. So I got to look at that. It is pulling it, but not a hundred percent when I put them all four on the ground and engaged it is pulling it but we're not getting the full use out of this thing maybe the pulleys it the um, dead pulleys could be taking a lot of energy out of the belt drive that could be the issue also the issue uh, with the safe um, drive cable has a lot of slack in it so let's do a little experiment. I'll just try starting it now without pulling the linkage back and, and see if it starts on its own. Okay, we're back to carburation started and installed. If it was the safety brake cable, it wouldn't have started at all. We're back to square one again. So we know where to start. We'll do the carburetor, get rid of this gas. There is definitely something in the bottom of the tank that I had seen. Could be water. So we'll do that and then um, I'll try to salvage the two bearings on the uh, pulleys. See if I can get those to operate. And then I'll check the uh, drive system after that, see if it makes a difference, see if we have even pulling in the front and then the rear wheel drive. So hopefully the pulleys cure the issue. If not, then I'll move into the um, cable. We'll get a, a new cable on it for um, 10 bucks on Flea Bay. So 2017 Husqvarna, the 675 EXI, I think we can do something with this. Maybe a little high on the um, initial cost of this thing with 40 bucks, but I think we can do something with it. Okay, that's all. You kids and cadets have a good day. Please tip your waitress and wait staff accordingly. They do a great job. Thanks for showing up and checking out this Husky LC221 Alpha.